and welcome to another one of my videos. Yesterday, we are going to be answering a Q&A. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome, 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 welcome to the, the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. Yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, I am back, and I am gorgeous, and I am stunning, and I am absolutely, yes, that's happening. I'm not making any sense, but anyway, today I thought we would do a little bit of a Q&A, because, you know, I am in so demand of um, everything. So, so I asked for some questions on Twitter, and I have been screenshotting. I learned how to screenshot on an iPhone, which is absolutely gorgeous. Question one, everybody, is from Specca at jerkawful dot three three m dot 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 have you ever had a dream that um that you had uh that you had to you could you do you wit you are you could do so you do you could you want you wanted him to do you so much you could do anything yes Svetlana, seven minutes ago, dot, 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 replying to Juno Birch, asks me, what are the little things in life that make you happy? Let me show you. This is what makes me happy, everybody. This. I hate her. I tell you now. I'm going to find it very difficult to be pleasant to it for the rest of this week, I'm afraid. This little baby. Look at the camera's here. Look at the camera. He's hungry. It's dinner time, everybody. But this, everybody, is what makes me happy. Look at this. Gorgeousness. <laughs> uh, Ricky Weenarge, dot 11S, replying to Juno Birch, asks me, what were you like as a child? So I was very sophisticated. I, have a v I had a very sophisticated palette. But I grew up very working class. I was very quiet as a child, especially when I was in public. I was very, very quiet, very um, polite, well-spoken, blonde little boy. And then as I grew up, I turned into an absolute nightmare of a lady. Ro Roman Kemp's flashlight. <laughs> Dot 6M asks me, um, how's, how is Judith Louise adjusting to life off the stage? For those of you who don't know Judith Louise, Judith Louise is a doll of mine. She's my child. And I perform with her a lot around the world. And we do a lovely special numbers together. Um, but she gets bashed and slammed across the stage quite a lot of times. So she's not... She's, she's missing the stage, everybody. Yes, she's missing the stage and she needs a makeover. So uh, shall we do a video where we give Judith Louise a makeover and we'll do a new, a new wig, a new mug, and we'll give her some new outfits. Anyway, you're fine, aren't you? She's absolutely fine. Anyway, um, Alex at abs015.9m, replying to Juno Birch, asks me, how was the process of making the collab with Trixie Cosmetics? Awful! No, I'm just kidding. So, such an amazing experience. Um, the thing is, is I, I don't have any experience making makeup. Well, I didn't have any experience making makeup. So I did so much research on how to come up with the colours, how to swatch, how to get like colour charts and mixed tones and things like that. So it was a lot of research and stuff like that. And the process was amazing. Like the, the Trixie Cosmetics team are, they get me. They absolutely get me. So does Trixie. They know the vibe. They know everything. Me and Trixie have a similar style as well. I think we're inspired by similar things from the 60s and 70s. Um, which is why people constantly call me Trixie Mattel. How very dare you? How very transphobic is this happening? Bell, hook, dot, octopus, dot, Question mark, orange at bellkates.12m asks me. Favourite piece of furniture, either in Sims or real life? Now, years ago, when I was on a bit of a mad one, I'd, I'd just started a new tablet, so I was I was on a bit of a mad one. Yes, I had a very rough time years ago um, with my 
mental so I, I was on a new medication and it made me a bit wired and a bit um, high so <laughs> the first thing I did is I ran out of the house and I went straight to a vintage store and I was shopping and I spotted this orange cocktail bar trolley space age from the 60s and I saw it and I said I have to have this so I went up to one of the people that worked in the shop and I said, excuse me, I know this is not for sale, but please, I would like to buy this table. And the woman said to me, well, I don't know, see why you couldn't buy it. I don't think she was the manager of the vintage store. I think she was just working there. But she sold it to me for £20. And I looked it online when I got it home and it was worth about £2,000, everybody. So I got an absolute bargain. Yes, I did. And it's my favourite piece of furniture because I use it every day. I wheel it around the house. I like to put little cocktails and little drinks on it and wheel it around the house. Absolutely gorgeous. Riv at gothbastard666.1 and asks me, Hello, alien goddess. What is your fave pair of shoes you own? Let me show you. These are my favourite pair of shoes that I own. Look how absolutely gorgeous they are. Oh my God. I've not even worn them yet, people. That's how much I love them. Trixie Cosmetics Verification Blue Tick at Trixie...2m asks me, who is your favourite Trixie Cosmetics employee? I can't answer that. Well, obviously me because I am employee of the month, so obviously me. Saying that, I, I I absolutely love all of you so much. Yeah, honestly, I went to the Trixie Cosmetics warehouse where I caused a bit of chaos. So you'll be able to watch that video, it's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but uh, when I went there, all the team is absolutely gorgeous. The team is so just, in it, like really passionate about it and so diverse. They have drag queens working at the Trixie Cosmetics Warehouse. Absolutely gorgeous. India speech marks 212 speech marks depravity star 2M asks me, do you still mix your foundation in foil? LMAO because I watched you do it like three years ago and I've done it every, every time since. So I nowadays, I don't mix it in tin foil now, I mix it in a tub like this and I take it on tour with me. Um, and one of these can last me like, if I fill it to the brim, this can last me months. Like I took one of these on tour and I didn't even use the whole thing and I was doing shows for three months. So. That's what I do now, and I, it's literally just um, white Krylon and blue Krylon mixed in a lovely little pot like this. It's something so much better than tinfoil. Switch to these, don't use tinfoil anymore, India, don't. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's too hot. <sighs> oh. Oh. It's too hot, people. It's too hot. I've got no aircon. I've got no aircon. I miss America. I miss aircon. Yes, what's happening? Gabriel the Queen at sweaty and gay dot 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 two m asks me, why do you love me so much? I don't. Goodbye. I love Gabriel the Queen. Gabriel is a friend of mine. Gabriel came on tour with us on Attack of the Stunning and he was so fun to tour with. But also Gabriel is an gorgeous and stunning drag queen. So you must follow Gabriel the Queen on Instagram.com. Yes, what's happening. And also, when I do my next tour, I am demanding that Gabriel comes on the tour with us. Yes, otherwise I'm not doing the tour. Keisha's Lorraine at Keish dot 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 2M asks me. Keisha's Lorraine is an absolute icon drag queen from the UK. The quiche wants to know, what's your favorite quiche if you could eat cheese? Well, my favorite is quiche Lorraine. Yes, ham and cheese, absolutely gorgeous. Or is it bacon? Shadows underscore by underscore Charlotte at S dot 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 2M asks me, would you rather have toes for fingers or fingers for toes? So I'd say, fingers for toes but you'd have to fold your toes up like that to get your feet in the shoes oh my god i got lit color of teeth oh my god no joy desperate at the joy desperate dot 58s dot 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 replying to juno birch asks me 
Release me when. Never, bitch. Swiped. Blocked. Christopher at Chris Love at dot 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 22 s asks me, what is your dream merch to create? Question mark. Alien emoji. I always wanted to make dolls figurines on plushies and we've done it we got we made the plushie but years ago the first ever drag queen plushie yes that's happening and now all the drag queens are jumping on the bandwagon which i think is a sly a lot of people missed out because they either didn't, didn't weren't buying merch back then or they couldn't afford it and these are limited edition things so they they aren't on sale forever but i thought in the honor of christmas I would do a new plushie. But seeing as though a lot of people I hear can't afford the um the regular plushies. So, without further ado, <laughs> it is the new and stunning and gorgeous makeshift baby Juno keyring. Look, she's a baby! <laughs> This is a baby little Juno that I designed um, and she's a key ring and she goes on your house keys or your car keys and you've always got me in your hands. And she's only like $10 everybody so she's she's a cheap one, she's a bargain, she's an absolute bargain. And she is going to be on sale in the, the end of September so keep your eyes peeled on the makeship.com everybody because she is going to be an absolute slay. Place your orders in September everybody because this is the perfect Christmas. Christmas present, yes. I'm a saleswoman, do you blame me? Otoki Diamond 27 asks me, do you have any advice for someone who want to make YouTube videos? Also, I love you, SM. Thank you, my darling. And that's a gorgeous profile picture you've got there. Oh my God, who is that stunning queen? Um, my advice for anyone wanting to do YouTube is don't take it too seriously. At the end of the day, I'm sat here playing painted blue talking to a bloody camera. It's not that bloody serious. So just, <laughs> just have fun with it, my darling, have fun. Vrob at valoshusir.2m asks me, if you could collaborate with any artist, in brackets, dead or alive, who would that be? I'd love to do something with Thorgy Thor. Maybe like a Thorgy and Juno show. Very Looney Tunes vibes. B at Beetlejuicebabby.4m asks me, if you had the chance to meet any drag icon, who would it be? I always love the idea of meeting Lady Bunny. I think Lady Bunny's an icon and I absolutely love her and I've never met her before. But I'm going to meet her in September because we're doing Bushwig together in New York. So, um, people, 11th of September, yes, it's happening. We're doing Bushwig and it's gonna be gorgeous. Get your tickets. Um, but I'd also love to meet RuPaul. I absolutely love RuPaul. I think RuPaul's an icon. Palia the Pink Thing asks me, do you have a different drag name before or a different drag look persona? No. Interestingly enough, no. I've never had a drag name. I feel like if, if, if my, because I'm blue, <laughs> I thought if uh, my name wasn't Juno Birch, I would be called Paris Stilton. Oh my God, Talia again. Oh my God, stop with all these questions, Talia. Goodness gracious me. Talia the pink thing asks me, would you ever adopt a drag child with its licorice? Um, I would never adopt a drag child with licorice black. Absolutely not. Have you seen Judith Louise? I do already have a drag child. My friend and daughter, Chardonnay Von Slammer. She's an absolute vagina slay and she's a Manchester queen. And I was there from her starting doing drag I try to help her with her drag, but I'm not the best at makeup. <laughs> Grizzly at Arctos asks me, if you went on Come Down With Me, what could, what would your three dishes be and entertainment be? Come Down With Me is a TV show in the UK where crazy people host dinner parties and they vote on their dishes and their entertainment and how they host the party. And it's 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 a shit show of a show. And I would love to go on it, to be honest, because it's so funny. Um, anyway, I would make a prawn cocktail for starters. No, I would do sushi starters, I think. Big, massive banquet of sushi. Nigiri, I would do maki rolls, dragon rolls, California rolls. Main dish, entree, lobster. Maybe crab and lobster. Maybe just, oh, no, I know what I would do. I would do one of those things, you know where you put the bib on 
and you plonk all the lobsters and all the crabs on the middle of the table and you and everyone has to like crack it open and eat it with their hands i would do that because all the all the guests would kick off i want to go and come down with me now can should we apply i'm gonna apply oh and that is the end of the questions everybody oh my god so f me this room is so hot you would not believe thank you for watching this video and I will be back soon with more chaos. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's too hot. F***ing hell, I can't breathe. <sighs> Philly, I'm done. Where's the ice? I need the ice.